YouTube. I am Pinstar and this is Two Point Campus Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So today we dive into our next class deep dive, Robotics. Now Robotics is probably one of the better classes out there just as an all around. Maybe not necessarily as your very first class, but it's a good money maker both short and long term. So the main claim to fame of Robotics is that it has a lot of things going for it. The base tuition fees for a robotics student is 12 thousand bucks that is top tier among the different things there's only a couple classes that are higher than this and they are much bigger pains in the butts to set up than robotics all robotics needs is two different classrooms somewhat like knighthood you got the robotics construction and then the robotics design now as far as how the class shakes out the class can be self-contained if you do the same thing that you do with the knights that is get a incoming class of 48 students for a total of 144 that will give you an, a perfect ratio of classrooms and lecture halls. The ratio will be a little bit different from Knighthood. You only need three lecture halls and you'll only need two robo designs, but the constructions will also be needed about as often as the battlegrounds. Now, as far as who the robotics attracts, robotics has a leg up over Knighthood in terms of who it attracts. So the class ha attracts a number of different students. The one unique one is the cyborg. The cyborg is kind of like the knight in that they don't actually do anything useful for your school. Nothing harmful, but nothing beneficial. They are susceptible to one type of illness. It is a medical illness called a computer bug that uh, just gives them a flat minus 15 happiness, which is in a backhanded way kind of beneficial because then it prevents them from getting a worse illness that would cause movement speed penalties. But in addition to the cyborgs, we also get a slew of others. Now the neutrals, the neutrals are, are well, neutral. They're not necessarily susceptible to an illness, but they don't do anything specific to benefit the uh, school. But the Goths, the Poshos, the Rebels, and even the Swats uh, sort of internally do benefit the campus. So in that way, robotics is a little bit better than night school in terms of the caliber of student that it attracts. And again, the money is huge. As far as the rooms go, the rooms do demand quite a bit. You're going to want to build your design a little bit bigger than what it requires. So one of the downsides to robotics and probably how they try to justify the insanely high tuition is the number of different assignment objects that the course uses. There are quite a few of them. To list them off, there are the head desk, the systems desk, the component desk, the de development station, the small 3D printer, the big 3D printer, the robotics console, the 3D printer table, the sketching board, the mysterious cube, plus the component library shelves, the, the robotics library shelf and the regular library shelves as well. Plus, robot poster and android poster are also needed. Luckily, you can get all of these things into your rooms by expanding them by, uh, from the minimums by just a little bit. The robotic construction normally is six by six, a seven by six with the main robot over here in the corner and the door over here will give you ample room to place almost all of the homework objects alongside here. And I mean, they're useful as well. They give learning power boosts, but they also are needed for homework. And then in the design room, instead of a four by four minimum, you just need a five by four minimum. Hand up here, whiteboard over here, and then the remaining two, the mysterious cube and the sketching board down here. And that will be all that you need for your assignments. The other thing is though most of your robotic students even though it requires all these objects you do not need to build them up up front. Don't bother building them until your students start asking for them. You're not going to get requests for the mysterious cube and the sketching board until you have plenty of students in higher levels and higher stages and higher years of the robotics course. They probably won't even ask for the 3D printer stuff for a while as well. So don't feel the need to splurge and blow the budget on all of these rooms like that. But once you do, once you have the need for it, then build these two rooms and then copy pasta around and your robotic students will be set. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya!